Hey everyone, it's Cooper. Hey, sorry, if you were watching a second ago, I have no idea what happened. Um, Facebook was kind of farting out and it was like doing a little circle thing and it wasn't telling me I was live. And actually I think that it may have just cut in just now. So thank you for watching. Um, I, uh, we've been having some technical difficulties today. So it is extended from the distance learning to my Facebook live with the technicalities. Um, so we got day two under our belt, um, and it was actually a good day. It was not as traumatic and dramatic as yesterday was. Yesterday was all about getting the IT set up and the computers and making sure everyone had enough internet and in the house and all of that. Today, um, we are um, focused mostly on the actual like learning. Um, both kids responded very differently than each other um, at first. Um, I was worried about, um, uh, I was a little worried about Claire because she um, struggles with dyslexia and a lot of this distance learning is online and you have to read the little comments and, and the instructions and all that. And a lot of what um, children who are dys dyslexic do is that they read the room and they read visual cues and all of that. So a little worried about her on that. Peace. Uh, I can see you. Yay. Um, I see you. Thank you, Chuck. Um, hopefully other people are commenting too. Um, the, uh, I was a little worried about her. She has like knocked it out of the park with this. She is like on the schedule, woke up first this morning, wanted to make sure she knew when she was supposed to be where, looking at what, all that kind of stuff. So it was great. Well, the other one, it's like, turn it on the minute you're supposed to be on, the minute it's off, it is out the door. So I was like, have you done your homework? What homework? They list two things here. Oh, no. So start one of them. Halfway done. Nope. Okay. So anyway, so they're responding differently in, in unexpected ways too. Um, and all the IT problems seem to be gone. They seem to be doing well. I, Ashley says, yay, Claire, I agree. I'm very, very proud of both of them, but I'm especially proud of her right now. Um, Another thing that has happened, by the way, cheers, cheers. It's it's happy hour. I got my big olive garden pour here. Oh, make it through the day. Um, so inexplicably with the wine that makes me think of this, I have lost two pounds since Monday. I have no idea why. Maybe sheltering in place is good for me. Maybe it's it's better than Weight Watchers. Um, so. Actually, what I think it is, is that I'm not eating out as much. So when um, when I go to work and and all of that, um, I tend to eat out lunch every day. And half the time, it's just Chipotle or something like that. Um, but, you know, chips, 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 chips. I love chips. And then Mexican food. We eat lots of Mexican food, which has chips and salsa and all of that. So um, one of the... Like I said, one of the side effects is, is I've lost two pounds. And I was like, certainly I have it. So I have this ritual. I weigh myself every morning. And I'm not obsessed about the number. I just kind of am watching the direction. And I do it after I pee, but before I drink anything, so that I know so I have the exact same body state and I know exactly what's right and what's not right. So two pounds down this week. Um and again, I think it's just from not eating out and not eating so many tortilla chips. But I'll tell you this. Yesterday, I was IT guy. Now I'm realizing that my hard job is I'm the lunch lady. Like every meal is made by me that's eaten by people in this house. Normally, when it's normal school time, you get uh, you get to just kind of throw some breakfast at them. You know, usually we have our, our set things that we eat. And then off to school, and then they have a snack at school. They have lunch at school and lunch or another snack, and then they come home. And then we have a snack or dinner or and dinner. So now I'm having to come up with every meal. And because they're here, I'm like making eggs in the morning and all that kind of stuff. Maybe that may get old after a while. We also may run out of eggs, and those are one of the things that you can't hardly get right now. So we'll see how that goes. But being the lunch lady. It's, it's, it's very hard. Um, I'm just trying to figure out all the different things. Last Yesterday, I was so fucking exhausted from all of the IT stuff and the daddy, come here, daddy, come here. I need you, daddy, daddy, daddy. 
just for every little thing. And and they were all warranted, but there was just a million daddies that was like, I'm gonna change my name, I'm gonna change my name and not tell anybody. Um, and so um, last night we had a hamburger helper. I had not made it since probably high school. Like my dad was a single dad for most of my junior high and high school years. Um, my parents had seven marriages between them um, and they're both not married right now. Um, and my dad was a single dad for most of my um, older adult uh, child life. So, and um, so I hadn't had hamburger helper in forever. Um, and as I posted on Facebook the other day, when the kids saw that I bought it, they thought it was like the culinary adventure of their lifetime. They uh, were so excited about it. So Claire had been begging, begging to have it. So we made the lasagna version. Um, I still have, I think, the stroganoff one and like a chili mac one. And then I have a tuna helper also. I'm a little scared of that one, tuna helper. Um, so we had that for dinner last night. The kids loved it. Uh, they can love it all they want. That's probably the last. Once this coronavirus is over, that's not coming back into my house. It's just, it was easy, but it just, it just felt gross. And I could probably make it from scratch, actually, um, better. I just, last night was one of those, I mean, y'all saw me drinking here, so. Anyway, so speaking of, so how are y'all doing on cooking? I mean, is anyone else having, a tr having trouble with making every meal for themselves? And let's see what y'all are saying, actually. Cheers. Yes, love it. Love you, David. Three black hearts. Um, let's see what else. What's your favorite Mexican place around here? Um, well, we actually check. We actually do. It's not technically Mexican. We go to Gloria's a lot, um, which I think is Salvadorian, but close enough. Um, and uh, Melissa, my husband thinks I need to cook everything. I'm not the cook here. Yeah, Melissa, are you having to teach also remotely right now? Are y'all doing that? I don't know what's happening in San Antonio. Um, but yeah, lunch lady may go on retirement sometime soon. Um, cheeseburger macaroni or get the fuck out, said Summer Burns for Hamburger Helper. I don't, um, I actually, I think I, no, I don't have that one. I don't have that one. Um, and let's see. Um, I think the distance learning will become awkward when it's time for parent teacher conference. Well, technically we were supposed to have those tomorrow, but they all got canceled and we're doing regular school tomorrow. So that that's kind of funny to, to think about. Um, wouldn't it be weird if you're doing remote learning, but then you did an in-person parent teacher conference? Like that would be so odd. Um, and Chuck says he's eating five times a day, five times a day. So actually, you know, for your metabolism, they say that that's actually what you're supposed to be doing. Is eating five times, maybe not five square meals a day or old like snacks and stuff. But um, and I've been doing that too. I have been going into the pantry and just grabbing things in the refrigerator. Little cheese stick here. I've stayed away from the cheeses. When I went to the grocery store on Saturday, which I needed or Sunday, I need to tell you all about that. It um, was my goal to get either frozen things that would stay good, things that I could freeze so that they could stay good, um, or dry goods. I was trying not to get like garbage. So uh, maybe some potato chips and such for the lunches, but just not trying to get a bunch of processed crap. Of course, I talk about hamburger helper, but you know, just um, all of that so that I could at least eat decently and it wouldn't have me snacking all the time. Um, hi, Carrie. My BFF carry is on. Um, I wish I could like tap y'all in to talk to me, but I don't know how that works. And that's probably way more complicated. Um, so grocery store. So if you live in Dallas, there is, we have the Tom Thumb grocery store, right? The one here in Oak Cliff where I live is a shit show. Like you almost die three times in the parking lot because people drive so fast. And it is the smallest parking lot ever for the size of the store. And people just have no no sense about them. And there's fucking grocery carts everywhere. It's the worst. I hate that store. But sometimes you got to. Well, they recently just opened a new one. And I'm telling you a secret here that you better just better not come back and bite me in the ass later. Um, in Victory Park, which is where the the stadium is, or the arena is, there is now a Tom Thumb also on Field Street. And it is in the bottom floor, bottom two floors, I guess, of a high rise building. It has uh under or has like underground garage parking so you don't have to worry about heat or cold hardly anyone shops there it is always empty 
And so that's been my go-to. Well, on Sunday, that really paid off because, first of all, it caters to, well, it's a full grocery store, so it doesn't actually cater to anybody. But the customer base around it are large apartment buildings, high-rise apartment buildings, condos, a lot of young people. And so I went in the morning, um, probably like night, so it wasn't even that early, on Sunday, um, after we had driven back from Florida, the, the isolated part of Florida, um, and there was nobody in there. And they were restocking, it had everything. I mean, it was it was out of toilet paper, it was out of most of the cheeses, um, um, but almost everything, the, the fresh food was good, the wine section was fully stocked. Oh, they had no bread, there was no bread. But they had their fresh baked French bread, and it was like $2 a loaf, and they were selling it, uh, buy two, get two for free. And I kind of felt like I was hoarding, but they had so much of it, because I'm sure that they just produce that on a regular basis anyway, and it goes bad. So I haven't, we've been eating on that too. Again, I don't know how I lost two pounds with as much bread as I have in the South, but I have. Um, so, but the funny thing about this grocery store is, um, you know, the normal things are ransacked, but the other, a lot of the other things at other stores that would be ransacked are not. So the meat section, totally stocked. The um, vegetables, fresh vegetables that totally stocked. Um, what else was totally stocked that I was surprised at? They had a lot of milk also. Um, but then you get to the freezer section. Every single like prepared meal, like the Michelle, what, uh, what's what's Michelle Danielle, whatever those meals are, Hungry Man meals, anything, frozen lasagnas, everything. I mean, it was just gone, <clears throat> empty, except for fish sticks. So the, the whole fish stick thing was all there. I don't know if they just got a shipment or if people hate fish sticks. I love fish sticks, but I've already made them this week too. So um, my South Texas white trash roots are starting to come out a little bit. But um, that store is the best and has a fabulous wine section too. Um, it has good, good wine and it has a lot of good bad wine too. Um, kind of the jug wine. Cheers. Does half a bag of Doritos twice a day count as small meals? No, it does not. It does not. Um, and Heather, who's in the comments here, is the number one code red, code red, um, like wellness thing. I don't know. You, you can see her in the comments. Um, she can teach you how to eat right. Um, I haven't done that, but um, hey, Carrie, fish sticks for the win. So here is my secret. So. I try to get the Van de Camp's ones that are extra crispy already, but when those are not available, I just get whatever ones they have. And then I put it on convect in my oven and I bake it for the longest time. So usually it says like 12 to 14 minutes. So I'll do it for 14 to 15 minutes on convect. Get them real crispy, flip them halfway through. So about eight minutes on each side. And um, so maybe that's 16 minutes. And then when they come out, I, um, I sprinkle them with seasoned salt while they're still hot. Everyone, they are a fit in this house. I will sometimes make a tray of them and I think there is no fucking way we're eating that many fish sticks. And we will clear that thing off and we're like, oh, that's all that was up. Wait, we only had 48 of them for four of us? Plus macaroni and cheese? Because you know you can't have fish sticks without the blue box of Kraft Mac and cheese, right? Um, <laughs> oh, you're ranking them, Carrie. She says, uh, number one is Bandit Camp. That's what I get. Number two is the Gordon's Fisherman. Number three is the Ship Store brand. <laughs> that is so true. Um, so, uh, Suzanne, your Wi-Fi is jacked up. Uh, I think everyone in my house is stuck in the Wi-Fi out of it. So I, I keep blinking on my screen. So I'm hoping that I'm not glitching up on y'all. Um, so anyway, so if you're in Dallas and you need a grocery store where the parking lot is staying, it's not crowded and they are stocked, Give the Tom Thumb at Victory Park a try. It's on Field Street, um, just outside of downtown. Um, it's kind of, you see it, but you have to kind of pull into the garage and stuff. And the garage parking is free too. Um, they just validate it uh, when you go to check out. So, and that is also where I will do the um, online pickup where you order it online and then you call them and they just come down to your car and put it in. Uh, but don't try that right now. I think they're like 10 days backed up on that one and you get, you order 50 things and you get like 16 of them. So I'm going to adjust that. Oh, look, my hair. Oh, my good, my hair. Um, so let's see. Um, I made some notes about what I was going to talk about today. Um, okay. So 
I woke up this morning and I should have led with this. I was like, holy fuck, do I have the coronavirus? I had a cough. I had a headache. And then I realized, oh, it's fucking allergy season in Texas too. Oh, great. So is it pollen or is it death? Pollen or death? Well, it's pollen in my case because I have a, a run. You probably hear my little nasal congestion and my eyes were sticking together. And so it was fine. And then I took the dogs for a walk. We live, we fortunately live on a green belt and a golf course that is closed at the moment and so you can it's a city park also so you can walk on it and so at a very safe distance from everybody else took the dogs for a walk and when I got back inside I'm like allergies so um but my gosh it's like oh and I was coughing this morning and Todd's like are you okay and fortunately it was like this like gross wet cough it wasn't that dry cough that you hear about um so anyway not coronavirus COVID COVID-19 I think yeah so, and let's see, what else? What else? Anyone want to, how is Pollen in um, San Antonio, Melissa? She's, so Melissa Escamilla is one of my longest friends in the world. We went to junior high, I think. Did you start in junior high? Definitely high school together in Donna, Texas. And her dad was our junior high principal. And um, and then she was band major right and all that stuff. I don't know why I'm giving everybody your bio, but anyway, I've known her forever. And oh, your husband made you go to the doctor. Oh, how did that play out? I want to know. Inquiring minds want to know. Um, uh, it's horrible here. Um, oh, you were just in high school. Okay, good. Um, let's see what else. <laughs> Eric says I don't know how you're holding up on the inside, but your hair is holding up just beautiful. Oh, I'm going to talk about that tomorrow. I've already made my notes for tomorrow. Well, I'll meet you here at 4.15 tomorrow also. Uh, girl, the wig. The wig is getting out of control. I actually didn't wash it this morning, so it looks like it's remarkable. Um, the part's a little bit messed up. But anyway, so I was thinking about, since we're trapped at home, and I really only see my children, I haven't been fucking alone. I haven't been alone in forever. I'm whispering because... I don't want to piss anyone off. But the, um, even though the person I'm not wanting to piss off is probably going to watch this later, but the, because uh, I'm doing it live on a public feed, but the, uh, so I think about doing something silly, like something fun. Um, I saw um, a couple of other people doing something silly. So I was thinking, um, I think about painting my fingernails. What do y'all think about that? That's crazy. Um, I already paint my toenails all the time. I lost a toe. I dropped a clock on my foot and lost a toenail a bazillion years ago, and it's never grown back right. It looks like a fucking zombie toenail, and um, so I always paint my toenails anyway. And um, so I was thinking my fingernails. So how fun would that be? Um, I don't know why I'm whispering about that. If Gary, do you the nutcracker? Oh, girl, I wish we could. Oh, I wish. Um, the, uh, and that is a story for a different day in a different Facebook live video, but that actually may be like a YouTube channel video. Um, uh, unless you go running just to be alone. Well, you know, I always say that if you see me running, you better start running too, because there's probably a tiger or something chasing me, but oh, I may take it up. I may take it up, girl. I took the dogs for a walk earlier and, uh, but even then, I get out there and I run into someone I know and they want to talk. And it, not they don't want to talk. We were just talking. And at a very safe distance again, probably a good 20 feet. Um, still, not really alone. Um, Bianca wants to be alone. Oh, holy moly, Bianca. Bianca has like 73 children and lives in close quarters. I mean, it's a beautiful house, but like her neighborhood has got just lots of people and it's always very full. So I can't even imagine um so um hi child's family hope y'all are doing fine let me just make sure i'm greeting everybody tiffany mcbee um anyway tiger chasing me yes i know um so anyway so what do you think about me painting my fingernails what do you think about it um i don't know why i'm whispering it like that i mean i'm gonna do it and you will see it so i don't know why i'm whispering it um georgia governor just closed school for another four weeks I heard um, Denton closed their schools until like the 19th of April too. 
holy moly. Actually, like I said, my kids have been very self-sufficient. One of them started at 8 a.m. this morning. One of them started at 9 a.m. this morning on a schedule. They had their, one of them had their humanities block. The other one had their STEM block. And then they flipped. The one in the afternoon, they had, I think Claire was done by about two o'clock. And this isn't hardcore, like all day. It's like a little bit here, then some independent work, a little bit here and some independent work. Um, and then they're video chatting with their friends and all of that. Um, and then Mason, I think, got done just probably about an hour ago, but mainly because um, he just wasn't doing the fucking homework. And I was already having to go into the Google Classroom and look at what it was supposed to do and when it was due and all that, which I said yesterday, Google Classroom, I don't know if they still stuck in that or what, but it is an awesome, I wish they would make it for corporations. It is so good. Maybe it's kind of like Slack or whatever, but um, so anyway. Um, well, that's all I really had. Is there anything y'all want to talk about my opinion on? I haven't even looked at the news today to see what's happened. I'm actually trying to not look at that. I get the Wall Street Journal in the morning. I'll flip through that just to, to get the highlights. Um, funny enough, though, I think it was either in today's or yesterday's Wall Street Journal. There was a headline that cracked me up because it was like, um, I think it was yesterday. No, was it today? Whatever. It was the day that the stock market jumped back up again. And it was like, best day on the stock market in 87 years. And I'm thinking, yeah, after like the two worst in 100 years. Uh, okay, stats, like that's weird. Um, but anyway, uh, glitter nail polish. No, actually, you know, I for the nail polish, I did not think that this was gonna be the main topic of conversation. I'm actually thinking, so I have um, a friend Jeff Parsley, who has a nail line called Now Nail Polish, um, and I think nowpolish.com. It's super, like, uh, really strong. It doesn't stain your nails. Um, it works really well. But one of the things he has, and they're really cool colors, but one of the, and they're, they're, he claims it's a unisex, uh, not claims, it is a unisex um, nail polish line. The colors are just all kinds. There's pink and there's black, and there's everything in between. So, but they have a polish that you can put on top of it that makes it matte finish. So I was actually thinking about doing like a light gray with a matte finish, maybe a navy blue with a matte finish. I don't know. I was thinking about something along those lines. Um, oh, Wendy is asking me about Tiger King. So I asked about that on Facebook last night and I have not, everybody has been like recommended I see that. So I may tune in, but it looks, you know, there are some things that I like to watch that are kind of what the fuck. Like if it's just weirdos, like like I'm okay with that. Well, mostly okay with that. But sometimes if it's like what the fuck, like these people are just really really messed up. I don't. I get embarrassed. Like I don't like it. And so I I don't know where the line is on this one. Like where that's gonna fall. Um, and um, and I actually don't watch a lot of television. I'm not a binger. Uh, Todd watches all the stuff and I just kind of float in and out of the room. So um, we will see. You're saying it's the best. I don't, I don't know. So maybe I'll watch an episode or two tonight. And maybe I'll, let me make a note. Tiger King, write that down to talk about tomorrow. I'll watch, I promise I'll watch an episode tonight. How about that? And I'll meet you back here at 415 tomorrow. And based on what I've heard is going to be like the number one thing I'm going to want to talk about because like, what the fuck? Um, Carrie saying I, I have yet to start it. It is a great shit show. It's a gay guy from Oklahoma with tigers. So assume what you may. Oh yeah. Yeah. I don't think that they're, based on what I've seen, it's like, it looks, I mean, the mullet and the tigers. And, uh, I think I know how it ends. Like, I think I saw something about that and people's predictions. So anyway, the, um, uh, what I really wish would, would just, I wish they just put it out there. It's fucking the last season of Shit's Creek, you know? Um, oh, and it's Thursday. I forgot to watch The Unmasked Singer, or The Masked Singer, rather, last night. Uh, that is, that's more my style of show. Like, just stupid, like, silly, but still with some talent and, like, uh, a little quizzical part. Todd hates it. Todd thinks it is so manufactured and, and so ridiculous, uh, but I love it. Um, I also love that Sarah Palin was the first one booted off this season, so or at least out of her group. So um, 
I, don't, I was going to say something, and now I can't remember what I was going to say. Well, anyway, let's see. Tiger King, Tiger King. All of y'all are saying, watch Tiger King. So, okay. Um, um, well, let's see what else, what else. Oh, that's it. Okay. Well, I just want to let you know that we are still sane. We are still alive. No murder, suicide has happened yet in the Koch household. And if more days are like today, uh, there probably won't be. So I think we're good. Well, I mean, there probably won't be. Let's hope this doesn't go till June or July. The, the way we might have to revisit that statement. But in the meantime, I will see you tomorrow. How about we just do this at 4.15 most weekdays? So I'll see you tomorrow at 4.15. I love all of you. I love your support. I love that you're fans of our family. I love that you watch my bullshit and you let me just do it because it's cheaper than therapy for me. So on that note, love y'all. Bye. And this is Carrie's favorite part that I turn into the old man. And I'm like, how do I turn this thing off? How do I turn it off? Bye, Carrie.